Hey y'all, what's up? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the embroidery design um, with Photoshop. Um, this is a second action that I am using. I'm sorry, a plugin. Um, the first one was the quickest way. This is a more tedious way, but gives you a more embroidered design. Um, I'm zooming in here so you guys can take a look and, and see. I've linked the file down below. It is called Real Embroidery. It is on Envato Market. Um, once you have downloaded um, the, the file, you're going to right click and extract the file. Open up Photoshop. Sorry, guys, this is a voiceover because uh, a couple of minutes of this was not taken. So you're going to hit File, Scripts, and Browse. Click on the installer file, the JSX file. You're going to find the file folder that has the plugin and click the installer file. It's going to prompt you that it was installed. You must restart your your uh, your software. Once you have restarted it, you're going to go up to uh, Windows, Extensions, Realistic Embroidery, and it's going to pop up the Realistic Embroidery tool for you to start doing your thing. Now this works so much better with less colors. The more colors, the more um, technical it's going to be. So to uh, get your image into multiple different colors, over to the left side here. Well, first you wanna make sure that your image is 300 DPI. And of course, changing the DPI is not really going to change what the image looks like. If the image is of quality, it'll look of quality. If not, as you see, I have um, some, some blurred edges, but that's okay. We're going to use this anyway. Now I'm going to teach you how to take your image and create a layer for each color. And again, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, this is a voiceover on a part that I didn't get to do. But I'm talking about how not crispy the lines are and how we're going to separate each color. To separate each color, you'll want to click on the original layer. And then over to the left, choose the magic wand brush. Once you have chosen the magic wand, you'll start to click on whatever color you want first. Once you've clicked on it, you'll hit Control J to create a new layer. You'll want to name it the color that you're doing because this is going to help you be more organized whenever you are um, actually doing the embroidery portion. Believe me, this is going to be easier. Don't skip this step or you'll end up having to start over. Uh, once you have renamed your layer, you want to click on the original layer again. Click on the wand and choose another color. Again, you have to choose the original layer. And then hit Control J again rename the color or rename the the layer click on the original image again as you see we have the black and we have the gray now we're gonna do the green and control J now we have the green we have the black and we have the gray Right now we are going to um, 
click back on the original layer and choose the white. Same thing, control J. Now, once you have all your layers, uh, uh, all the colors and layers, you want to turn off the original. And then you click on the first color that you would like to start on. In this case, I'm going to choose the gray if I'm not mistaken. Again, I'm relayering or renaming them for easier remembrance on what color and what layer is what. So when we go back, I know which one to, click, to choose. So you're going to turn off all the other layers except for the one that you plan on working on. So I chose the gray. And now I'm going to hit border on the embroidery um, panel. Now, since I am doing a voiceover, I get a chance to talk about a couple of changes I would like to make. Um, this is going to take a couple of time to do. It's going to do its thing. Once it's done, you'll see a bunch of layers and um, different colors. The faster the processor and RAM, or, and more RAM, the faster this will happen. The more colors, um, the lesser processor, the longer it's going to take. And this is exactly what you do for every color. Um, also, when you are importing plugins, that's how you would import the plugin rather than how I showed you um, the action install, which requires three different areas for actions. Um, plugins are a little different. Um, Adobe Illustrator, it can't use or affinity can't use um, actions but they do have plugins available so I'm not sure if you can still use this plugin or not but um, if you test it please let me know as you see it's still doing its thing all these layers are popping up all the actions are there what it's doing And if you're thinking every color, yes, every color. I do understand why people charge for this because it does take some time. It does take some brain. Uh, but once you do it again and again, it just becomes second nature. This is probably my fourth time with the logo because I lost my train of thought. I didn't rename them, that kind of thing, um, the first couple of times. So um, I'll also be running through all the other actions just to see which one works best and which one's easiest. The first video is the easiest way to replicate a patch without having to deal with the rest. But um, this is a more realistic look. I'm glad most of the voiceover was a wait. <laughs> You'll hear where I'm upset that I was muted the entire time. Now, I will say my PC is bogged with thousands of images. I have to go in there and clear out all the images that are not needed so my pc is running a little slow on this
All right, now that it is done, as you see, it has created a border, it has created a setup file, and a source file that you leave alone. You want to click on the click on the source file just so that you can um, get a sample of the color. As you see, I'm gonna go and click on the source file to turn it on just so I can sample the color. Then you're gonna go to the border, click on color overlay, click on overlay, and choose the color. In this case, it's the gray. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to the setup so that way the stitches come in under the same color. You're gonna choose color overlay and choose whatever color you'd like to match the logo. I'm choosing my colors and you wanna change it to overlay. Now you're gonna click on setup and then we're gonna start the stitching. Um, here's where I'd like to tell you that I prefer the large stitches over the medium and small after running it a few times, I did the large stitches and I enjoy it better than the medium and small. However, um, on the smaller logos, you'll need smaller stitches. So again, you'll have to play with this. You'll hit fill whenever you choose whichever. It's going to do its thing. You're going to repeat this process until it tells you that it is done filling. So you see it's done. I'm going to click on it again. You can leave it as is because that did just the border area. Or you can continue to fill all the way through. As you see, I'll have to hit fill, uh, fill area again. The blue areas indicate what else needs to be filled. Again, you'll continue to press fill area until you are done. Right. Once it's all filled, as you see, I clicked it and nothing is going to happen. Oh, yep. It opened up a new window. So what you do is go back to the main page. My apologies. Go back to the main page and choose render. Thought I had clicked it. All right. If it goes to a second page and it doesn't start to fill the area, you've you've already done it all. Sometimes it'll give you an error. Sometimes it won't. You just click on the main page again and hit render to render that color. Now there are some things that I want to talk about here in this panel. You see all these unclicked borders. You want border one and two and then choose a different border. So three borders, um, and play with them because some are 3D effects, some are leveled effects. So just 
click and unclick until you like the border that you want. Again, I'm talking about these yellow borders here on to the right. I chose one and two, and then I add a third one depending on what the image is. I had accidentally left those turned off. Again, I put border one and two, and then I choose a different third one. Uh, border four large is good too. You just play around with those and choose which ones you want. So once you have rendered it, you'll see that it'll end up this blue color. You're gonna click the RE file click on filling click on color overlay choose the color you want and at this point we're going to change it to overlay or i'm sorry we're going to change it to color had lost my train of thought here so now um, I will go over into the color overlay and we're gonna change it to color instead of overlay overlay has an opacity to it that kind of mixes it in you want color Then you're going to close that and right click and group. You're gonna click on it and merge group. It's gonna merge all of that layer together. And that's it, you turn it off and go choose the next color. Make sure you are on the proper color. Y'all, the whole freaking time the microphone was on mute. Lord, help me, because this is the third time that I'm trying to do this video. Oh, my God. Anyway, I guess I'll have to do a voiceover for that portion. So it's doing its thing, and I guess I should have checked if my mic was working prior to starting. <laughs> this is sad. Uh, nonetheless, I'm going to continue because I guess I can just do a voiceover. It's doing its thing. We are at the color black now. We just did gray, but of course I was on mute.
Okay, now that it's done, as you see, the color is um, not black. So we are going to go with black. And we're going to change the color here so we don't have to do it after the fact. I like to see it as it goes when you click on setup. Now make sure that you are on setup of the black and you're going to click fill areas. Same process that we did for, um, for the gray. Now we're doing it for the black. And again, you're going to do this for any logo that has multiple colors, uh, that's how you do it. Okay, and you're going to continue to click fill until you have completely filled that area. Keep, keep hitting fill. Again, you can stop at the borders and leave the bordered with an imprint inwards. Um, I got fancy and I used multiple actions. I used this and then I used um, some of these, but of course that's at a later date and time because I quit multiple times. Nonetheless, you're going to continue to hit fill. You're going to get a message once the, it's done. These are the areas that it needs to go. the area is full proceed with rendering now before that happens you want to make sure that you have your colors on there gonna do its thing and it'll end up in a whole different color
right as you see here is the color go back down color overlay and we have to switch it to actual color And we have to do darken because for that color, for whatever reason, um, it decides it wants to. You want to change the border colors. You don't want blue. Let me see. All right, we'll do it over there. No, let's go with color. we'll go with color okay so that's what it looks like right now here's what we have so far the black and the gray merge group and we are going to turn it off and on to the next color which would be green make sure you click on green click on border and it's going to start the process of creating a border Sorry guys, there is no faster way around it. The fastest way is the first video, which gives you kind of, sort of, the look. Yes, if you're thinking every color, every color. Even when you're digitizing in an embroidery program, it's every color like this. Um, this is why people say, "Hey, if you don't, ha if you didn't actually make the image, it's hard because you have to make it into layers." Today's weather's weird. As you see, same as all the other ones, the outline in border has um, changed colors. So we got to go with the overlay. Wait, I didn't get a sample. We didn't get a sample of the color. So let's turn on the color for a second. Go to color overlay. Click on overlay. And let's take a sample of the green we'll be needing. Hit OK. And we're going to do the same over here. Overlay color. We're going to take a sample. Hit OK. And now we can turn this off. Click on Setup and start your fill. And you're gonna do it again guys I'm gonna speed through some of this wait time but I wanted you guys to see what to realistically expect
once again we're going to go all the way until it gives us the error message but be careful if we're too close to being done it'll send things flying over the moon as you see it did okay so that is done we are going to click on render it's going to do its thing not the color we want. Okay, so now we will have to, as per usual, come in here, go to the filling, overlay, and here you want to make it the color. Um, I think I'm gonna do color. Yeah. I hit okay. Go to border color. Hit okay. Actually, we can probably darken that kind of distinguish the difference and that's it for that one right we're gonna go right here bring these in merge the group together this is what we have so far and now we have to do the white. Here is the white. Turn it on. This is why I said name it because then you know what you're doing, right? And you're going to have different shades of color because I did a bear and it had like multiple shades of brown and tans. So it just depends the detail that you want on your um, design. So we are going to start the border process and I do understand why people charge for this because as you see it is a process but I prefer to educate people on how to do it and if they still want to pay me to do it because they know they don't want to do it then um, I don't mind charging to to do to do the logos for you, but I prefer to educate because then you you know when you're on a pinch for money you know how to do it or um, you know you can get it done at your convenience. gonna do its thing as always I don't know how long this video is so far 35 minutes yikes sorry guys you'll have to watch it to the end to actually get through all of it right okay so we're gonna go back here and do the same as per usual go to the color overlay and since this one is easy we're doing white 
um, that would be F F F F F. Hit OK. Then we can do the overlay here. F F F F F F. F. OK. And click on Setup and start the film. And we're going to do this until we're done. This one's going to take quite some time because we have a lot to fill. And like I said, you're going to do this till you get the message or like last time that I didn't get the message and it just created a whole layer of its own. And it'll send you on a rat chase. So pay attention if it doesn't do anything when you click on it. We still have these areas. That should be about it. Let's render. Yep, that was all of it. We are going to render. Text my husband, hey babe, I need some RAM. See, it's sent. Okay, when it finishes, as we know, it'll be a whole nother color. Then we'll have to go in there and dingle dongle ding. done so now we'll go to the re main choose the fill color overlay and for this one it has to be color and lighten because it needs to be white the border color same hold on let me hit cancel border color 
overlay lighten hit ok alright this is the rest of that I forgot about turning these on so don't forget to turn these on because this is what gives it the 3D look. Uh, I didn't do it on the other ones, but nonetheless, don't forget to do it on yours. Okay, now that you have everything going you want to merge this group together we're almost done we're almost done and then you can turn them on and layer it accordingly that's it when you zoom in you'll have your stitches And again, you can play around with the design um, so you get the results you want. Uh, let's say you don't want the white stitches to be in front of anything. You can send that to the back to have a cleaner stitch line. Here, let's take notice again, since the white has the top stitching you see what that looks like you bring on that down um, to the bottom of the re's and it'll clean it up a bit okay then when you're done with that you are um, going to hit control alt shift e this will create a layer with all of your actions and or all of the stuff in one control alt shift e then you're going to filter sharpen This is where I said I did a bit too much. If it's too sharp, it's too pretty. Not enough, you can't see. We'll have to do a balance. I'm not sure how sharp it should be to be realistic. hit okay it's gonna do its thing and if you like it and you're you're done with it you're ready to export it you'll hit file export as Click export Philadelphia Eagles video embroidery. When this box closes, it will then uh, already be saved. This 
is what it'll look like. I did want to see something here. I'm going to turn these back on. If I were to put the white. It does look like it pops out if I put it above. So play around with your layers depending on how you want it to look, I guess. I'm going to go with that one. Then control alt shift E. do 130. Sorry guys, I forgot I was recording. Just play with these so that you guys would uh, know what, you know, what it is. Anyway, just play around with these settings so you know rather, you know, what you want to do with them. Too sharp would be too much, so we're going to do 217 just to... Uh, see how that goes. These were medium stitches. You can go back and do whatever size stitch you decide. Um, sorry guys, I've been testing, I have so many of these things, I've been testing them out for so long. I, the reason I didn't do this video is because of the multiple colors and with gradient, obviously it's not going to work as well. Um, so those are things to kind of think about.
I'm gonna leave this on in the back just so that it's not a see-through image and I'm gonna name this 200 sharp should be here is this one get those fibers okay and then we'll do I guess a side by side Here are both of them, and I guess just print and test to see what's up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a real visual difference between the two. I honestly think that this one looks like there's more threads, and this one is... first one. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, because everyone's going crazy charging for this. Um, so yeah, that's 3D effect you see there. And when you print it, it will be. Um, again, sorry for the lengthy video. And thank you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll have the fuzzy coming up next in the next video.